Hello, in this tutorial I would like to explain the options that you have when you upload a video to YouTube that you can do to make your video public and then also be able to add some additional uh, features to your YouTube video. So here I am logged into my account, this is my personal account, and I also ha make instructional videos. I work with science teachers and we take them on science trips and then at the end I make a video to help them remember some of the things that they learned and the experiences that they had. So much like you, I, I need to make instructional videos. Here is a video that I made for a trip that we took to the Great Basin, which is what GB stands for. And you can see that this video right now is set to private. So if I were to embed this into my Google site, it would not show up for anybody to be able to see it. So the way you would fix that is you go under Edit. And here's the basic info. Here's where I could change the title. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, make it a little bit better. You can add tags, change the category, and here you would change the privacy setting to make it either unlisted so that people can't even find it. Private is they can find it but they can't view it, or public. I'm going to make it public. And here also is where you can change the license from a standard YouTube license to a Creative Commons license and attribution license, meaning that they can use my video in any way as long as they give me credit. And I think that's fine. I like that. So I'm going to do that and save the changes. Now there are some other things you can do as well here in the YouTube uh, video manager. You can go to enhancements and here you can, much like you can with, with uh, vid photos, you could apply like a grayscale or some other kind of thing and you can see how it would change your actual video if you chose to do that. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to revert to my original. You can also go to audio and here are a selection of audio tracks that um, have been copyright cleared by the art artists and you are fine to use these tracks in your video. So the way you would do that is uh, you would you can make a video and then pick one of these tracks and if you were to select it then let's like Moonlight Sonata, if I were to pick Moonlight Sonata you can hear my video as it would sound with the Moonlight Sonata. And I actually don't like that, so I'm going to revert back to the original. And I would encourage you, most of the time, it makes better sense to find some music through freeplaymusic.com or some other source and put that music into your video in your video editor, such as iMovie or Movie Maker, because that way you can make sure it fits right and that it, it matches the photos correctly and isn't providing a, a weird kind of mood than what you were intending. Because if you pick one of these songs, all you can do is pick that it plays. You can't really uh, adjust too much and edit too much what happens with it after that, like you can in a, in a video editor. I can also go to annotations and do things such as add an annotation such as a speech bubble. Speech bubble right here. Or I can add a note. and all sorts of other things that I can add. Um, the ability for uh, uh, spotlighting, so you could have uh, a light kind of shine in on a particular character during a particular moment of the video, adding titles and other things that you can go and explore. Captions is just for you to upload a transcript of your video. So for example, if you had made an instructional video explaining a physics calculation, if you're a physics teacher, then, or some other explanatory kind of video where you're explaining things to your students, you may want to also upload a transcript of exactly what you're saying in the video so that if people choose to read it, maybe they can read it faster than they can watch it, or if they um, have a hard of hearing or have some other kind of uh, learning dis disability, then maybe it's easier for them to read things than to, to focus on the video, that the transcript is there and something that they can use. After you're all done, just make sure you uh, click on, um, on uh, the Save buttons, and then you can go back to your video page and be able to see how it looks. And you can see that my video is now public. And that's how you adjust things in YouTube.